Hello everyone, this is Adam from the Adam Firms Archives, and I'm doing it with that intro because this video will only be on the Adam Firms Archives. So, well, the next four videos will be that I record. Anyway, so, um, man, it's a bit bright, isn't it? Uh, turn the brightness down a bit. There we are. And, um, yeah, so, with me recording these videos and Lucas recording his batch, that means one thing. If you read the title, then you already know it. We have finished watching series one of What's New Scooby-Doo. And um, we are now getting to ranking the episodes, the monsters, the culprits, and the chase scenes. The sweet, sweet chase scenes. I like those chase scenes. Anyway, um, so something I need to add is that um, but all of these rankings are completely our opinion. We are ranking the culprits differently, so we will explain that. Um, at the start of our culprit recording video and um, there was something else I needed to say but I can't remember it so it doesn't really matter clearly uh, <laughs> so um, let's get into this ranking before I say before I go this is my opinion as I said so your opinion may be different please in the comments below which episode of what this could we do was your favorite of series one uh, so that'll be the first 14 well the first 13 episodes plus the Christmas special so, I believe that's the first 14. Anyway, let's get into this. Coming in 14th place is probably no surprise, uh, definitely no surprise to Lucas, because he doesn't like this one either, is Safari So Good, or Goody, or Goody. I don't know what the actual title is called, but honestly, I do not care to know. Um, I call it Safari So Good, because that's what I grew up with, but apparently it's called Goody now. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. But yeah, I grew up with it being called Safari So Good, so that's why I'm calling it. Maybe it's Goody, like Ghouls, I don't know. But um, it was just boring. It had a good premise, but at the end of the day, it's just not going to be as good. It's just underwhelming, in my opinion. Plus, the jungle demons are literally animals painted yellow. So, a bit bad, in my opinion, isn't it? Coming in 13th place, we have 3 3D Destruction. Um... This one, I actually wasn't a big fan of for a simple reason. I just found it a bit boring. I never really liked the Dinosaur Spirit or the tr or the Gigantosaurus, as it's now apparently called. Uh, yeah, so it was just boring. Melbourne debuts in it, so that's a good thing. But he's better in a future episode he appears in. And I'm sure Lucas can agree with me there. Um, but other than that, there's really nothing else about... Uh, 3D destruction, which stands out to me. The mystery wasn't that, well, to an extent, isn't that hard to guess, but isn't really easy to guess. But, um, it was just all right, in my opinion. It wasn't, it wasn't really yet that entertaining to me. Uh, 12th place, we got Pompeii and Circumstance. Um, now, as a kid, when I watched this, watch this episode I didn't really like it because I found it a bit boring and now I can safely say I was right because um I still find it kind of boring um I do kind of like it a bit more for the zombie gladiator because it zombie gladiator is kind of cool but at the end of the day it kind of looks like a rip off of the black knight the first ever scooby doo villain um but it, ignoring that, there is just it, it's just not as good as the other episodes in my opinion, um, and that's saying something. Considering the eleventh place is Toy Scary Boo, and this one isn't as good as the other episodes, and it's just there because I had some nostalgia to it, thinking it was one of my favorite episodes, but now watching all of them, or the first series at least, it went down a lot. It was number one, now it's number 11. Um, so yeah, the, unfortunately, I still have some nostalgia towards Toy Scary Boo, but it just it just got knocked back a lot by the fact that the other episodes are actually kind of good. 10th uh, place is Lights, Camera, Mayhem. This is the one with the um, Faceless Phantom. And uh, this one... From when I was a kid, I believe this is, like, one of those episodes which was, like, really premiered, like... Oh, I can't really explain it, but it was, like, really popular when I was a kid, apparently. Like, people keep talking about the Faces Phantom, of how it was so scary, so cool, the episode was so good. 
we get around to watching it, and me and Lucas both agreed, like, this is just alright. It's just alright. Um, now, I'm willing to bet, when Lucas ranks these videos, he's going to, these episodes, he's going to have Lights, Camera, Mayhem just before 10th. I have mine at 10th place, so it'll probably be around there for him as well. But it's just all right. There's nothing really much else to say. Ninth place is there's no creature like like bleh, there's no creature like the snow creature. If I'm guessing my tongue twisted from that, I'm gonna get my tongue twisted for two more that's coming up. But um, there's no creature like the snow creature. This one is the first episode of What's New Scooby Doo, and unfortunately, it's just all right. Um, I remember when I was ranking the monsters for um, What's New Scooby Doo back on October twenty third in two thousand twenty. I remember I didn't really like the snow creature. I ranked it rather low. But I said it was it's just alright. And I stand by what I say. It's still alright. I admit maybe the placement for it was a bit harsh. Like I think it could go a bit higher. But it's not a great episode. The monster's alright. And the mystery is a bit... is on the terms of easy but also kind of challenging if that makes sense kind of like um 3d destruction is but this one's a bit easier i'll say um uh where are we okay eighth place we have a scooby doo christmas now this one oh uh, the story is all right the story is actually okay it's actually all right actually um however it doesn't really make sense because yeah it it stuck to a holiday theme but when the villain got found out, and they found out that what they were looking for, which is gold, was actually made to look like bricks, in like he chose to hold on before he gave the gold away to other people, the whole town decided to forgive him for destroying their houses just to look for gold that he initially wasn't going to share. That is such a small block plot point, but it's literally my problem with this episode. It's the end that I have a problem with. Um, as of now, considering that this is the only holiday special I've watched, uh, well, we've watched, um, me and Lucas have watched, um, was watching Watching Scooby Doo. This is our favourite holiday episode, considering we haven't seen the Hall Halloween or the Valentine special yet. But um, really, though. I think it will be overtaken. I think Lucas actually really likes this episode. But that one problem is my major problem with it. And I personally see the other seven episodes being a lot better. Speaking of which, seventh place is... Oh, God have mercy on me. She sees sea monsters by the seashore. How can I do that right? But I can't do the other one right. Okay, so this one... Um, it this Okay, the title of this episode is A Blatant Tongue Twister. And... Um, I found this one to be rather entertaining. Like, it wasn't one to actually intrigue me, but it was still rather good, and I really enjoyed it. Um, some major things to point out that I like about this. I like some of the um, secondary characters, like um, Sharky or Crunchy. Uh, the Professor is alright as well. And, uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, sixth place, we have Space Ape at the Cape. Um... This is the episode with the alien or the space ape, as it is sometimes called. Um, so, yeah. Um, basically, I like the whole concept of this episode. I always really liked it, actually. Um, however, I never really saw it to be my favourite episode of the series, considering there's five more episodes to talk about. Um, but it's still rather entertaining. It's a good adventure. And um, the mystery... I would say it's probably around the same difficulty as the other, as there's no creature like the snow creature. It's, it's probably around that difficulty to guess, really. Um, fifth place, we have Riva Las Vegas, or as it is translated from Scooby-Doo Talk, Viva Las Vegas. Um, this one is uh, actually really entertaining, and I would not be surprised if Lucas puts it up in the top five as well. Um, because we both like this episode... And uh, the Ghost of Rufus Rockus is probably one of one of our favourite villains. Um, I think he likes it more than I do. Uh, but yeah, it's still alright. And um, 
Yeah, it's still good overall. It's a great episode. The only problem is, and um, me and Lucas have come to an agreement on that, is that it's very obvious who the culprit actually is, considering um, she's the only one that does magic. So, yeah. Fourth place is Big Scare in the Big Easy. Um, this is obviously... Um, well, I'm not really sure what the titles of Tongue Twists are off, but the Big Easy is commonly known as New Orleans. So, um, it's, so that means they're in New Orleans for this episode. Uh, so, Big Scare and the Big Easy. I originally hated this episode. Um... But due to um some random bits of a inf due to some random nostalgia to it, it is now in the top four of my episode ranking. I have no idea why that's the case, but that's all right though, considering it's actually an all right episode, very well crafted in my opinion, and it isn't very obvious to guess who the villain is. But um, I will say the culprits had such a smooth operation going. It's no wonder why I couldn't guess who the culprits were. Uh, third place we have, it's mean, it's green, it's the mystery machine. Now, this one I thought was going to be a tongue twister, but uh, then again, I grew up saying this title along with there's no creature like the snow creature, so I kind of adapted to saying it much better than the other one anyway. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy this episode. Like with the big scare and the big easy, I originally hated this episode, but after revisiting it and seeing how unique of a villain the Mystery Machine is, I was like, oh my god, it's actually really good. And then to add on with probably one of my favourite chase scenes ever, um, and also the Mystery not being very, not very, being very obvious, but also not being very difficult to guess, we got an alright episode and a really good one at that. Number two, we have Roller Ghoster Ride. Now, um... This one, I would not be surprised if it's Lucas's number one. Um, but basically, the Roller Ghosters, with, for me, one of my favourite villains. For Lucas, probably one of his favourite villains, I'm not sure. Um, but we both agreed we enjoy it. We like the concept of an amusement park. And um, it kind of, I'm not sure about Lucas, but it kind of gives me nostalgia vibes to Scooby-Doo Where Are You with Charlie the Robot, because I believe that was done at Amusement Park as well. I actually haven't seen the episode, so I don't know why I'm referring to it, but um, it, it kind of reminds me of that, even though the villain's a bit more motionful. <laughs> yeah, that's a word, isn't it? Okay, so um, with Roller Ghost to Ride, it's just very entertaining, really. There's nothing really much else to say. I just like it for its entertainment. And um, I think for how... Okay, I'm going to be checking on that later. For how um, entertaining this is to watch this one kid who's too short for all the rides he wants to go on just complain about why he's so short to this one guy who just works there. So, number one, of course, we have The Unnatural. And um, this one I knew was going to be my number one because I remember enjoying it when I was a kid and I still enjoy it now. For the simple reason of the story being alright, kind of hard to guess who the culprit is because um, we my, myself and Lucas watched this episode yesterday and Lucas actually had never watched this episode before. Hence why he ranked the baseball spectre rather low on the, his tier list when he did the tier list. And um, um, he actually gave a guess on who he thought the culprit was and he was wrong. Um, but uh, I decided to just flex on him a little bit by saying that when I first watched this I was able to guess it. So, yay. <laughs> um, but I always liked the baseball spectre for his sinister laugh, his smile, his actual straight up appearance. And... Um, uh, well, I already said his laugh, but his laugh is probably my favourite thing about him, really. But um, with that being said, that is actually all of the vid of the episodes I'm going to be ranking. I I think I feel like this ep this ranking was a bit all over the place, but um, when it comes down to saying which episodes I'll happily say I really enjoy, the top seven I will say I really enjoy. The uh, hold on. Um, I'll say the four after that, I... No, I'll say the five after that, I are mediocre. And 13 and 14, they're just bad, 
in my opinion. Um, obviously, I'm going to get some disagreements with where, with um, the ones I said are bad. But, that, like I said, it's my opinion, so don't hate me for it. Anyway, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Join in the next video where it'll be me ranking the villain, the, the monsters. And, um, yeah, until then, peace out.